And now to a tragic story. An American mauled to death by a jaguar in the Central American nation of Belize. Today, national correspondent Natalie Morales has details. Good morning, Nat. And good morning to you, Meredith. Bruce Cullerton lived in Belize for the last 18 years, and people there say he was a good mechanic and an outdoors type. Well, now investigators say a freak accident during a powerful storm led to his death. When Hurricane Richard came ashore over Belize Sunday night, it left typical storm damage. Trees down, roofs ripped off. But as the eye passed southwest of Belize City, it created a different problem. Max is a three-and-a-half-year-old jaguar who had been kept here in captivity until a tree crashed through his cage. And the jaguar, in panic during the hurricane, escaped. Richard Foster is Max's owner. That night, I went out looking all around here, looking for the eye shine. At night is the time to do it. And um, as he knows me pretty good, um, he would probably not run away from me. So I get a good chance to see, you know, to see who's there. Um, at about 10 o'clock, we heard Bruce's dogs barking. 47-year-old Bruce Cullerton, an American, lived nearby. When the storm hit, Foster believes Max ran to Bruce's home, attacking his dog. Then the jaguar, with his powerful bite, went after Bruce, dragging him from his driveway to a nearby wooded area. Police found him dead with fatal bites to his neck and head. Cullerton's father now mourns the loss of his son. It's a shock. It's, it, you, you first don't want to believe it, but, uh, you know... Facts are facts, and you live with them. Foster is an internationally renowned nature photographer who keeps jaguars to photograph. We just don't know what the circumstances were down there. The little black and white dog of Bruce's could well have attacked the jaguar, got his aggression going, and that one thing led to another. After killing Bruce, Max ran off and was on the loose for two days. He was finally captured late Tuesday in a trap. The killer jaguar was taken to a veterinarian and put down. It is the biggest nightmare we have ever experienced in our lives. And um, it will take a long time to get over this. And Cullerton had planned to travel back to the United States on Tuesday. He'd been diagnosed with diabetes and was coming for medical treatment. Meanwhile, Bruce's dog has a bite wound to the neck but is being treated and is expected to survive. Meredith? All right, Natalie, thank you very much. Sure.